Hi everyone! Welcome to Patty's Polished Corner. I am so excited to bring you this video today. Okay, um, so I, I don't know, somehow I was on Starly's website. I know I've ordered from them, um, a couple times. And anyways, a while back I was on their website and I saw that there was like a little section for, um, you know, reviewers or swatchers to enter you know, their information. And so I did and they contacted me and I was so excited. They sent me, oops, I dropped out. They sent me five polishes. Um, so I'm really, really excited to swatch these and review them for you. Um, it's not going to be much of a review. I love Starly polishes. They're pretty awesome. And I was really excited to these colors. They're so amazing. I haven't tried these ones. So um, I wanted it to be first impression. So I'm like dying to put these on my fingernails. But I just know once I get one of them on there, I'm not going to want to take it off. But I'll just have to do it. Anyway, so I'm really, really excited um, to swatch these. And let's, let's just get started. <laughs> Um, I'm so happy that Starly chose me and it was really, really nice for them to send me these five polishes. So I'm just really excited. I'm really thankful. Um, so anyways, let's, let's, let's get into the video and see what I got. Let's get started. So these are the colors that I got from Starly and that we'll be looking at today. And Starly has some really cute descriptions and some little fairy tales to go along with some of these. So I'm going to read those right along with doing the polish swatches because it's just too cute not to acknowledge. I'm also going to use um, INM Out the Door as my fast dry top coat. For some reason, I have not been loving my new bottle of Sash V at all lately. Um, it's just really been ticking me off. <laughs> Maybe I've forgotten how to apply regular nail polish. Not really sure on that one. Um, but this one I did use a few times and I was really loving it. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I will not show the application of base coats and top coats. Just the polish applications. So the first one I'm going to show is super special to me and it is called Sea Glass. And I'm so excited um, because when Starly sent me the email, um, they asked me to give them a list of all the polishes that I already own from them. And so they wouldn't send me duplicates. Um, and then they asking me what types of polishes I liked. Um, from them and basically I said I like all of your polishes. Um, you could send me any of them it would be fine I gave them a list of the ones that I already owned and I kind of put in like a little blurb on I would really love this polish Um, Actually, the only reason I didn't buy it I've, I've had my eye on it for like over a year and the reason I I don't know I just didn't buy it when they, they had a sale I bought some polishes and then I got a free bottle of polish you guys may have seen that video I'll put it in the description box below it was a haul with some other things um but I didn't buy this one and then I saw a video where they used this one in nail art and I completely fell in love with it and really regretted it and basically that's what I told them and they sent it to me so nice I'm so excited I'm so excited to get this one so let's check it out um, the description on the website says sea grass has bright blue shreds of glitter in a clear base straight from the frozen ice caps of the sea these glitter bits will suit any look and be sure to make you stand out from a crowd. Okay, so the story for Sea Glass is the sea witch lives in the deepest part of the sea in a cave made from the bluest ice. And it is said this ice can heal any wound. And if you find her, she will grant you one wish. It has taken me months to find her, and at last, I swim through the cave. It glitters and sparkles like blue diamonds, and she is there at the end singing siren songs in her sleep. And let me tell you, this is a flipping amazing polish. Look at that. Look at that. It goes right with the story.
So Shattered Glass is a glitter topper. And the best way to apply these, because they have lots of chunky glitter, is to apply one coat. Just trying to see if there's any glitter, any base little. This has been sitting upside down for at least 10 minutes. Oh, and there's a big drop of base coming down. So we'll get rid of that on the bottle. Okay, let's just come in, come in close. Okay. So, all right, there we go. Um, so it's been sitting upside down so that some of the glitters are coming to the top. So you're just going to put one coat of base of your nails, which, oh, this looks really great on the black. Look at that. I wanted to do it over um, a navy, like a super dark navy, but I don't have one. <laughs> um, I do have one on order, so you'll probably see me use this in future videos with it because I ordered it um, special. Well, maybe not special, but I did order it to go with this right away. So, um, so that, that should be coming. So yeah, I'm really liking that. So um, we'll go ahead and finish that up with the other nails and then let it dry. And I'll show you what to do next. So now if you have extra spaces where there is no glitter and you want some, we're just going to put some on the tip of a makeup sponge and tap it onto the spots where you want it. Oh, look at that. This is so cool. <laughs> so you can put as um, much or as little as you want. I think is completely awesome. Oh, there's big hair. Okay. I'm going to move it around to the bare spots. And I think that looks really good. All right. So we're going to wait for this to dry and then we're going to put some top coat on. Okay. Now to apply top coat, what you're going to want to do with a chunky glitter like this is you're going to want to apply two thin coats of top coat and that'll smooth it out and still keep it kind of not too much extra bulk and kind of give it some amazing depth. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll come back for the finished look. So here is the um, finished look and I, I did get it pretty smooth. Um, probably a few of them could have been pushed down a little bit more when I was applying it, but that's pretty easy. Ooh. Pink fuzz. <laughs> anyway, um, this actually looks completely amazing. Um, there we go. It, it looks, it's really amazing. In person, it's like 100% more amazing and in low light like this. It looks really, really good. Um, this is definitely something you could wear out in the evening um, for a night out. And this would just make your fingernails sparkle like crazy. This is really, really an awesome color topper. And I am completely in love with it. polish we're going to look at is called Andromeda and it is a multi-chrome cat eye. There we go. You can now see the purple and the green. Oh, wait, let's put the magnet next to it. 
Hmm. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, and the best thing about it is it comes <laughs> with the magnet. The magnet is free, and if you order their magnetic cat eye, you get the free magnet. Now, I have seen cat eye, multi-chrome cat eye polishes, um, and these magnets are always sold separately. Actually, the magnets are sold separately whenever you buy a cat eye. And the magnets range from 99 cents to, I've seen this one for almost $7. I know you can get it cheaper on eBay, but then you have to wait like two to three weeks. This is completely awesome that they're saying, hey, we're just going to throw this inexpensive magnet in with all of our cat eye polishes. And thank you. Thank you for that. That is such a nice thing because when you're spending a lot of money on nail polish, you don't need to spend another $7 on a magnet or whatever. So that's that's really cool. Um, let's see. The website says Andromeda. Let's get it close. Um, Andromeda ships between greens, purples, and blues. No fun story with this one, um, but... Yeah, you can see the green and the purple and the blue. Ooh, this is, oh, wow, look at that. You see that right here? Oh, look at that. That looks a little bit to the reddish point, too. <laughs> Anyways, it's really pretty in the bottle. And let's get it on my nails. Okay, let's see what Andromeda looks like on my nail. Well, it goes on very smooth. And it looks like it's kind of sheer. So I think I'm going to go with two coats and then do the coat with the magnet. Since I didn't put any um, undies on. <laughs> And without, oh, hold on, okay, and without any magnet, it looks like a grayish, greenish kind of color. So I'm going to put it on the rest of my fingernails and clean up that little bit right there and wait for it to dry and come back with a second coat. Okay, let's apply a second coat. Okay, that darkens it up pretty good. Definitely purple, green, and blue. Very beautiful. Okay, so we'll do um, the last coat will be the cat eye coat. Okay, so now we're ready for the last coat. And then we're going to do the magnet. I'm just going to do the boring old diagonal cat eye. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at there a little longer. Yeah, I like that. Let's see. Here we go. You can see the purple and the green. Let me hold it on a little longer. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the fast dry top coat on. And put some more magnet on there. Okay. 
There we go. And I'll do the rest of my nails. And we'll come back for the final look. So here is the finished look of Andromeda. And there you have the green and the blue. And over here, oops, from this nail, you can see a little bit of the purple right there. Let's see if we can get in really close. And see, it looks, gosh, that looks like magenta, really. Uh, let me see. Um, let me see if I change the lighting a little. If we can get some of the purple to show. Cause that's the purple right there. Let's see. Off camera, at this angle, I'm still getting just the green and the blue. And then there's that little flash of what's supposed to be the purple. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Changing the lighting there brings in a lot of that purple and it looks more purple there. So then we've got the purple and the green. So it just depends on your lighting as which flashes of color you are going to see. Okay, so here we have Sunset Boulevard, which um, it shifts from orange to pink to red and gold. Sunset Boulevard is a polish that has truly captured the colors of the sunset in one bottle. It does say that it will be okay opaque in three coats. Okay, so the story behind Sunset Boulevard. The rouge on her lips applied smoothly, puckering the woman smirked. Perfect. She spun around on her seat and leaned down to correct her high-heeled shoes. It's fabulous, darling, simply divine. Dancing over to him, they embraced. Let's, let us take to Sunset Boulevard so I can show everyone my new pumps. The two made their way through the street, Palm trees stood tall, and there were sights le left, right, and center. Oh, I feel like a film star, she cried, a smile on her face. <laughs> I love these stories. They're so great. So let's check this out. This is quite beautiful. Oh my gosh, it sparkles like crazy. Do you see how that brush is sparkling? Oh my goodness, this is, oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, so it is very sheer on the first coat. Um, the big bald spot right there. <laughs> um, let's try to even it out. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, it says we're going to need three coats, so we'll probably need three coats. Well, this is coat one. Okay, let's take a look at the second coat. And that's looking pretty good. Very pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, now we'll add the third coat. And as you can see, it's like, it's really pink. <laughs> um, in, in this light, it shifts from pink to orange. Then we go orange. It's really, really sparkly. So let's get the third coat on. And when this is dry, I will top coat it and then we'll come back for the final look. 
So here is the finished look. So it shifts from pink to gold to orange. It's really pretty. Let me get some different light on it. So here's some of the orange. It's nice and shiny. There's the pink. Very beautiful. Okay, so this one is Everest. And this one says, um, it's a beautiful green with stunning holographic flakies. I love flakies. So let's check this one out. Okay, so let's see what the first coat of Everest looks like. Well, that is completely amazing. That is completely a one coat polish. Um, however, I am going to stick a second coat on just because I always wear two coats of nail polish. Um, but you could get away definitely with just the one coat. And this is a beautiful green color. Look at that. Such such a great color. <laughs> this is going to be wonderful for all types of stuff. Um, Christmas, you know, it's an evergreen color, so it's whatever. It's simply gorgeous. Really beautiful. Okay, so let's let this dry and we'll come back for a second coat. Okay, so I am just going to add a second coat. And it is just really beautiful. I love it. So I'm going to add a second coat to everything and a top coat and we'll come back for the final look. So here's the finished look with top coat and I am just loving this deep green color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so here we have Enchanted. And Enchanted is an amazing multi-chrome topper. The ships shifts from pinks, golds, and greens. And um, we're going to try this over black. And the little story behind this one is, I walked down a road made from gumdrops as fairy floss clouds drifted overhead. A river of orange soda flowed along the gummy pebbles and I couldn't help but feel as if I had ventured into a beautiful dream where roses were as tall as towers, lilies sang lullabies, and daffodils giggled at my joke. My mother had told me about this place once before. She said, in my dreams was an enchanted garden just for me to explore. So that's pretty cute. Okay, so I have uh, my black on my fingernails already. And now we're going to go in with this beautiful topper. And oh my gosh. They sure do know how to do toppers and flakies really well. This is incredible. There we go. That is for you guys. Look how gorgeous that is. That is really amazing. And that's, that's pretty much it. I don't see that you need any more than one coat of this. It is totally beautiful. Um, I didn't have to put the bottle upside down or anything. So let me get it all on all of my fingers. And then when it's dry, we'll come back and take a close look at it. Here is the finished look of Enchanted. 
And that is very beautiful. You can see the shifts from green to pink. Catch a little bit of gold and orange in there. It is really stunning. It's really beautiful. Now, I highly suggest that if you are wearing this while driving a car, do not look at your fingernails. <laughs> I just love driving my car on a sunny day and you can't help but to sneak a peek at your nails and it's like, oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> it could be a bad thing. <laughs> but this is a very beautiful shifting flaky. I do love, I do love this flaky. It's gorgeous. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.